Hey guys, what's up? It is your pal Keith, and we are live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England, specifically South End on Sea, baby. I've got my all time favorite studio accessory to share with you guys today. We're going to do a killer unboxing video of the Marshall 4.4 fridge. Now, you might have seen my previous video about the smaller version of this fridge that we actually have in the green room at the old studio location. I was going to get the hookup from Marshall with one of these. They're going to help me out here because we got a lot of Marshall amps. We love them. We're in the UK and... Uh, yeah, we were going to get a bunch of cool stuff from them. And then this coronavirus hit. So uh, the artist relations team kind of had to take some time off. And we decided, you know what? We want our beers nice and cold here at Essex Recording Studios. And we want to help out the local economy. So we went to Anderton's. They had a sale on. Great music company. And we bought one. Nice. So it's here. And we're going to show it to you right now. I'm going to open this box. We're going to plug it in. I'll plug it in right there. Power it on and check out all the cool features. So I'm doing this solo, guys. Bear with me. <laughs> I'm doing this on like a Samsung phone. So I'm holding that up and uh, operating the scissors. So if it gets a little shaky, my bad. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe. I show you all sorts of cool stuff like this. We did the Marshall keychain. That's got thousands of views. Um, man, the Spectrum Axe, that got like 150,000 views so far. It's, it's totally crazy. But we show you a lot of cool stuff. Obviously, guitars, if you look on the channel or if you've been a longtime subscriber. But um, yeah, we're going to do more products too because I think it's cool. And before you spend the cash on one of these, you want to know what it really looks like up close and in person because I'll tell you one thing. It's totally different than what you see in stock photos, all right? So, looks like it just, I'll tell you what, we've got a little bumper sticker here. We'll save that if we can. Get the bumper sticker off. Slap that on the side later. Cool. Thanks, Andertons. Cut down here. going through this tape is like mega what a cool box by the way all right it is pretty light guys we came down a bunch of stairs here in the bottom basement sub level of our mega complex and uh i was able to bring this down myself the packing straps are really heavy duty, so I just carried it by the straps. I like to live life on the edge like that. All right, so this is all taped. Very well packed, cool. All right, we'll just toss this over here. Okay. So styrofoam all around. Straight off the bat, you can see very well packaged. It goes, I mean, the styrofoam goes the length of the box, so I'll be really surprised if there's any scratches or dents on this. All right, so we've got this out. Nice. Ooh, I'm already seeing like the, kind of like the elephant Tolex for the lid. So the top part looks like a normal fridge, but that's all right. And I think what we're gonna do is we'll actually probably put it next to the couch so that we can use this as a surface and kind of use it almost as, like as a side table. I have a dual roll over here because we're getting short on surface area in the control room. All right, got one more thing over here. Oh, I got nice packing material for my guitars i love it i'll tell you what we'll get a little bit more organized and just chuck this over here all right all right all right man so excited i 
think what I will do is just put this down, put you down on the, let's see here. Put you down like so. Are we standing up? Looks like we're standing up, stood up. Sorry if the phone falls over. I'm going to go pull this right out of the box right now. Ring off. Don't need to. Okay. Nice. Way cool. All right, so one man can definitely unpack this, no problem. Wow. This thing looks mint. I mean, it's obviously it's brand new, but. It is so cool. And yeah, it's it's different than the, the smaller one for sure. Look at how much that white logo just pops. You got the Jim Marshall's Marshall signature. This looks great. So these all move. I'll tell you what, I wonder if these light up. I, I, they don't on the smaller fridge, but that would be a great feature uh, in the future, Marshall, if you're paying attention, but we'll find out. Oh, another big difference. I heard that on the inside of this, it's black. Oh, we got this tape shut. Let's get that off. Cool, let's have a look. Oh, it is, how cool. It is black on the inside. I really like that. Oh, that's new. I don't think that's on the old one. The white contrasts quite nicely there. This uh, logo is like, feels like it's kind of like etched in. I don't know if it is. This is new, temperature control, and I believe this one's got a freezer, which is awesome. We like our frozen pizzas over here. And I think it's got ice cube trays. Oh, that's cool. It all says, you see that? It says Marshall across the top there. Wicked. I am well chuffed to use the parlance of my resident country. I'll tell you what else I'm gonna check. I've got the Marshall keychain holder. Let's see if this fits. Just curious if I can use this thing to store my keys. All right, so there's the back of it. So yes, very much looks like from the back and top and sides, a uh, standard mini fridge. I don't see any damage or anything on it. It's wrapped in, looks like it's got, yeah, the plastic. That will come off. Maybe I'll take it off. Maybe I'll leave it on. Kind of like a coaster for the top. Let's see if this fits in. Nope. Doesn't go in all the way, but that's okay. I'd rather it uh, just be a functioning fridge with space. And it's not really necessary. How cool would it be if that was a, a functioning, like, one watt? little mini practice amp like they do. That could be the next 2.0 model. All right, well, let's go ahead and power it up or let's take some tape out because there's a bunch of, I do want to see inside this cabinet. We've got to show you. So why is this all? Let's see here. Can I get that off by myself? Of course, I, I just cut my nails, so now I can't peel anything. We'll get it here. We'll get it. All right. Great success. So this is, yeah, this is a, I don't know, I have to read the, the instructions. I don't know if that is a, freezer or not it's got some sort of 
pull out tray here. So that is interesting. Cool. All right. Oh uh, yeah, it must be freezer. Ice cube tray. Thought I saw that. Nice. Ah, oh, that's great. So let's go ahead and find the power cable and plug this in. Is there a cable in the back? Yes, looks like it. No, that is something different. Okay. There we go. Just a little bit stuck. That is the cable there. I think that is, is that it? Must be. I think they might have it all zip tied up just for the uh, shipping. I'm just trying to feel in there if I feel any prongs. Yeah, there we go. Got a little cable tie wrapped around. Just undo that. Undo. Very cool. It's got like a normal one of these suckers. Got it. So just undid that. And now we should see this pull out here. What are we caught on, guys? See, it's it's actually wedged in between this and the fronts. So let me give it a little bit of a yank, or see if I can slide this up. It's really ah, got it. Boom, nice. So we'll take the little plastic covering off, and I'll tell you what. We'll even slide this over. We'll put it in its final resting home. Right over here. I think that'll work nicely. Let's do it. Move this out of the way. I think this will be really cool. Next to the couch, and look at that. We even have an outlet right there. Perfect. All right. Little slide action. Tell you what, I will put this down one more time while we slide this. Bear with me, guys. Okay, that's easier. Got new carpet in here. Oh, phone went down. One second, dudes. Got new carpet over here and it's very thick and firm and hard to slide things on. Boom. So just powered on, heard the compressor go. All right. You tell me guys. Get all this rubbish out of the way. Oh, I think that's super cool. I think our guests are really gonna dig this. It looks so good. And size wise, I mean, it looks like, I don't know, like an oversized one by 12 cab. 
and this looks like a 25 watt head or something like that i mean you can see 50 watt marshall head up there it's not much smaller than that i would say it's almost the size of the soldano head but all right so doesn't light up not the end of the world but would have been cool at least it moves and look at the led lighting in here now that is awesome okay so what we'll do actually i think i need to let this door open a bit more all right the lighting is way cool in here I already like this one a lot more than the smaller one. I didn't know there was a bigger one when I got the smaller one. Otherwise, I would have gotten that. But, oh well. Nothing wrong with having two. I don't need a freezer for the other spot. Okay. But right now, there's no freezer in the studio. So just taking some of this tape off. Look awesome in here. Yeah. This is great. What is that? Ah. I see. So. Got this tape here. Uh, annoying. So one of the pieces of tape leaves a little bit of residue. That's okay. Take these little styrofoam bits off and then we'll have this rocking and rolling yeah it's just got a tray you can extend or I, I don't know if you block that off or what you do with that but that's cool there's a little clip hanging around down here don't quite know what that goes to just yet get the last little bits of styrofoam off Yes, indeedy. Okay. You've done that. Now the fancy shelf goes back in. Oh, yeah. Now, guys, how cool is that? So all matte black finish on the inside. You've got the Marshall logo for the freezer section. Ice cube tray, can never have enough of those. Established 1962. Put all your beers in here. There we go. This will live forever in our control room. Come visit, beers are on me. Thanks, Marshall. Thanks, Andertons. Thanks, everybody, for uh, hanging out and enjoying this 20-minute version of me uh, opening a fridge. Yeah. All right, dudes. I've got way too many guitar videos to do for you today. I'll give you a quick look around the studio, since I know a lot of you uh, aren't aware of who we are and you're coming just for the fridge unboxing. But uh, I just took over the former Daily Mail headquarters building and Global Radio headquarters building for Essex. Essex is one of the big counties in the UK. We're about 30 minutes outside of London. This used to be a, a broadcast booth. It's going to be our amp booth. Lots of Marshall uh, amps and cabs going in here. We've got a live room in there. That's a very rare Marshall cab that is a 1995 limited edition JCM 800 1960A cab to go with our 800 head another limited edition Marshall combo there so we got this live room mastering suite here and then another live room in here very cool. 
We're directly opposite a major train station, South End Central train station. We have to decorate this place. If you have any decorating tips, let me know what you think should go on the walls. Stairs up there to my office in the green room. And then we've got a YouTube video, a YouTube studio going over here. Super cool. Got the Zach Wild mini Marshall stack hiding in the corner. I'll take you upstairs. Go upstairs. Got my skull mirror. What's up, guys? All right. And we're painting. We just painted the hallways up here. We need paintings and guitars to hang up everywhere. And uh, we've got the next YouTube studio in space in here. Oh, yes. Super cool. Kitchen and bathroom. The beach is about two blocks over, but that's outside. That's our car park. And then the lobby to the street and the train station's out there. So this is us. What a cool place, huh? All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Click like, click subscribe. Come join our circle of friends. There's about 6,000 subscribers right now, just shy. Almost 2 million views. And I will show you really, really cool stuff each and every day. I don't always upload every day, but I'm getting better at it. One last look at the Marshall fridge, and then I'm off to do more work during this crazy coronavirus lockdown. Awesome. Cool, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.